Okay, so this is the second video in my uh, patching tutorial series, and uh, I'm going to go and have a speed patching now. This is a more advanced technique for people who are at the uh, Grandmaster round kind of level. Uh, they're getting goods and they're getting excellence uh, pretty consistently, and they're they're wanting to get their Incredibles and they're wanting to get up to Legendary, up to Ultimate, up to whatever. Uh, so firstly, speed patching is basically where you try and get to so good. The, uh, the the size multiplier so good as fast as you can with as many grommets as you can and that doesn't necessarily mean every grommet that just means as a, a decent amount to get you a decent score um, in general you want to go for as many grommets as possible but it doesn't matter past, past a certain point uh, when you're speed patching usually bingo plus is 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 good enough really you're aiming to go a bit higher than that. you're aiming to get towards the vexes but that's fine and when you're masterpiece patching which I'll explain in the next video you're wanting to get Vegas plus but it's not a big deal if you don't get everything every grommet um, so in my opinion speed patching is a lot easier than masterpiece patching it won't get used high scores you're not gonna get to number one on speed patching not anymore but it's um, it's a lot easier and the reason for this is you don't have to build your size uh, the the size of, of 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 your of your patch doesn't have to be as big, and it's it's a lot simpler to do that. You don't have to think as hard. You just kind of go. It makes it a lot easier to be fast. It makes it a lot easier to get an incred, uh, and that's the idea of, of speed patching, in my opinion. Basically, it's just to get as high score as possible if you uh, if you're not as practiced at the game. Um, so I might as well jump in and show you. Uh, so basically, your idea. Is you're going for the so good multiplier. You're gonna get as many grommets as you can. It's not a big deal if you don't get all of them. But basically, just go build towards the uh, the tie-offs. Now this right now isn't so good. So just add a little bit more on. That should be so good. There you go. And that's just about so good. You're looking to just about get. Now so good is around 40 to 50 percent of the board. Um, but yeah, the basic idea is it of it is just move towards these tie-offs. Once you've got all the tie-offs, then you can start expanding to your so good. And that should be another one there. And it's pretty easy. Once you once you've got the hangout, once you've got the speed. Uh, if you, if you want to get an incred, incred, you're aiming to be. Uh, and by the way, if anyone ever talks about timing for like, if they'd say how 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 many do you get so good in? They mean in how many uh, how many pieces do you get it in? Because we divide up the uh, the timer by pe by the pieces. Uh, so the first piece will be one, the second piece will be two, and it's basically if if the timer gets to the end of the second piece, and then you finish it, it means you've got it in the second piece. You've you've done say fine in two, and in general to get a incredible, you're looking to get so good in under free in general most times I'll just quickly try and beat the timer uh, so you're looking to get it in under free most times um, that's for incredible uh, and to, once you practice that's that's fairly easy to achieve to achieve to be honest uh, it mostly just takes practice this this puzzle it's it's not like a it's not a thinker's puzzle in general. Uh, it, it is, but it's not like a uh, a planning puzzle. You don't plan this puzzle. You just play it. And I, I built way too high there. Now that's what, one of the things about speed patching. Because you're looking for speed, you don't want to overbuild. Like overbuilding is what will kill your score if you're speed patching. Uh, you want to do just enough, just enough to get to your uh, so good, and that is that is all. So I think that is just enough there. I haven't done this in a while. I, I don't speed patch anymore, I, uh, so I'm not sure. But that was, and uh, that's it, it's pretty easy once you get used to, like just naturally knowing how how much you need to build. Uh, that should be enough there. And I only connected three grommets, but that's fine. Like I should still get a decent score from that, and and you'll make up for it in your other patches when you when you get the high amounts of grommets so yeah that is speed patching I think 
I'll finish that there. Um, we should get an excellent or something here, hopefully. Yep. Uh, if I was obviously if I was trying for it, there I have got examples on my YouTube channel of me getting incredible speed patching and incredible masterpiece patching. So I may not get in these videos because I'm talking at the same time. But if you want to see it working, you can look at those. Um. So one good thing about speed patching is once you can do it, it's very easy to use it for tokening. I'm not going to show it for tokening right now because uh, I need to get on a CI and that, uh, for that, and it's too much effort. But it's very easy to to expand to to be for tokening um, because when you're getting the tokens of it, you naturally it will bring you towards your so good, and uh, it, it's obviously that you're not using the whole board. You can very easily work around the tokens and still get your so good. Uh, and I think I've gone over everything actually. So, so I've got a little list next to me of the things I need to go over, and I've gone over everything. Um, but yeah, so that's speed patching. It's very easy to do if you once you've got the basics of the puzzle. Uh, all it takes is practice, uh, getting used to the movements and and how to drag across your pieces and stuff, and and build. 